Hey guys, it's me again, and today, uh, because it's Halloween week, I'm going to do just a really quick short tutorial, or rather, I don't know what you would call it, just uh, how I put my makeup on in the morning, including foundation. So I'll get my mirror out, and the first product I'm going to use is Australia's Colour Click. Um, colour correcting primer in Ice Clean. Glasses off because you don't want primer on glasses. I was blinded about, I can't see a thing. We're going to put this all over our face and I get red cheeks quite often because I don't know I just have I get red splotchy skin sometimes Okay, I've done that. Shall I put another layer of primer on? Just to... Oops, I've got some stuff on my fingers. It's also rather dark in the kitchen. Because there's a lot of cloud outside. Hang on, I'll just go open the line. better. You can see my face. I can actually see my face. Okay, so what's everyone doing for Halloween this year? Are you just going to go to your ghoulish selves or are you planning on doing a movie character? I'm not sure what I'm going to do. I might if I had more pastel clothes, I would probably go as uh, maybe a beauty guru or something, or a fashion. And I was thinking about going as a certain, dressing up as a certain uh, fashion blogger, but um, I don't think that'll be happening because I don't have all the clothes that she likes. Uh, so, now I'm going to put on my L'Oreal Clear Match Super Blendable Foundation in the shade. They never have everything where it wants. It doesn't say what shade. Nope. Basically, this is an extremely pale shade. The palest I could find. Don't you sink down into my brush. And then I'm just going to splotch it all over my face. And if you can hear squawking in the background, it's because it's morning here and my birds have woken up and they're yapping at the birds outside. Probably they're asking about the gossip from the latest bird nightclubs or talking about their Halloween plans.
Does anyone else find it really difficult to actually cover your nose? Because I do. I typically don't do all of my nose, as you can see, there's a streak right across my nose because that's where my glasses go. And I hate getting foundation on my glasses. Now I'm not going to use any blusher or, oh here it is, there's a, there the number is 05N porcelain for my foundation. Next I'm going to use my trusty sexy mama, I'm going to use my sexy mama anti shine translucent powder from the balm. It's really good this stuff. And where's a brush? Here's a brush and that'll do. And this stuff's really good. I oops, I really need to get some minimal translucent powder too. I have a Maybelline powder and it it's basically tan and I'm lighter than tan. And it was the lightest shade they had. What do I do? What's that saying? I think um, there's a nail art blogger called Christine. She does something like that, that, that. Thank you so fast. When I was younger, when I first started doing foundation and makeup, I had no idea um, how people could set, how people set their powders. Like, I had no idea that setting powder was a thing. And anyway, I'd put my foundation on and then be constantly irritated during the day when I'd try, when it would rub off on things and I'd see other people I'm like, how are they doing it? What are they doing? And then I started to uh, get really into it and I discovered the thing that there is something called a setting powder. And you put it on top of your foundation and it sets it. Boy, did I feel silly when I found that out. Yeah, it's still got a little, this says it's translucent, this stuff, but it's still got colour in it. I can tell. I can see it. So I'm going to, one day soon, I'm going, if I remember next time I'm going to the chemist, powder's done by the way, and then I remember next time I'm at the chemist, I'm going to, oh, yeah, this, next one. Uh, yeah, I'm going to go in and grab some Rimmel translucent powder. And this is my trusty Revlon Ultimate All-in-One Mascara. It's waterproof. And there's the brush tip. I have very shaky hands.
Does anyone else do their mascara and they find they can't shut their mouth? I can just go like, like that. Anyone? No, you can't hear anyone unless it's just me. I put my hair up in a twisted bun and it fell out and now my hair is down and annoying me. There's lots of noise, I can't tell if it's outside or if my birds are up to something or everyone else is up to mischief. Okay, so next is the quick bleak in intense black. And I know you're supposed to use one of these, like you've got one for each eye, but I'm lazy and I just brought in one quick flick because it gives it a really odd looking, if you want to look perfect, it gives you a really odd looking vibe, but you can do one because it sort of has one of that curves that way. Uh-huh. <laughs> <laughs> And then we stare there. Happy Halloween! <laughs> Happy Halloween! Halloween's on Saturday, but we start early. No idea where she's gone, probably just around the corner. And now we do, and it has a point on the end as well. I screwed it up again. Doesn't matter. Eyeliner doesn't have to be perfect. And I go underneath. I don't actually do my waterline very often because stuff gets in my eye. Uh huh. And then I do. No, I'm just going to leave it like that for today. I'm feeling extra lazy. What about you? Are you feeling extra lazy? Yeah, I noticed that yesterday. I think it was some drunkard. Too dark, the window's tinted. Yeah. Oh, they're from Dreamer. Oh, they're crazy. You know, sometimes I also go above the, my eye. I've got a glug of stuff on my eye. That's all pumped up. And sometimes I've got the, you might know of a YouTuber called um, It's Black Friday. She does this thing where she puts black eyeliner up there so it kind of looks like, I don't know what it looks like, but it's very clever. So I'm going to just... Draw the outline there. It doesn't have to be perfect. There, that one. And then I'll do this one. FYI, I don't know if anyone else saw it, but Randy Orton beat Roman, not Roman Reigns, um, Drew McIntyre to become a 14-time world champion at Hell in a Cell last, yesterday.
which is awesome. I can't actually see what I'm doing, so this, this is going to look like crap when I put my glasses on. I can already tell it looks like crap. Oh dear, I've messed that up. Ah, oh, well, never mind. Never mind, it's all good. It's not, it's still good. Okay, that's eyes done. Now for lips, I'm going to use Lime Crime. Not a big fan of the brand, but I love the colours. And this one is Blood Moon. One of my favourites. It's a dark, dark, glorious shade that's like black and red mixed together. And that is my makeup, all done, complete with my green hair and everything. So that's all for today, and uh, yeah, bye.